Good morning and welcome to this final week of Praxis, this final week, Holy Week, as we continue together to practice the spiritual disciplines of our faith. We didn't know when we began six weeks ago that we would be doing this on video, virtually, but I welcome you again to um, my study, to the chair where I pray every morning. Um, here I will lead us in the praxis, the scripture, and the prayers for uh, Tuesday, April 7th. All week, we're going to be considering scriptures um, that have to do with surrendering, the spiritual discipline of surrendering our lives, our agendas, our spirits to God. It's a lifelong practice, and these scriptures this week, Holy Week, um, will help focus us in that way. So you don't need your praxis guide. I'm happy to read for you today. I invite you to simply um, create a worship space for yourself to get comfortable. To do that, I light my candle to start my prayer time. Oops, that one didn't work. Let's try another one. We are in the presence of God, my friends. So close your eyes and take a deep breath. Take another deep breath. And hear God's word. Present your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God, which is your spiritual worship. Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your minds, so that you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and acceptable and perfect. Present your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God, which is your spiritual worship. Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your minds, so that you may discern what is the will of God 
what is good and acceptable and perfect. Present your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God, which is your spiritual worship. Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your minds, so that you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and acceptable and perfect.
Amen. I hope you'll continue this Holy Week to use our Praxis Guide to read these passages and reflect upon the spiritual discipline of surrender. I couldn't help in my prayer time think about the transformation that this Holy Week is really about. The transformation um, from sinfulness to forgiveness, from death to life, from being in bondage, really, and being free. That's what this week is about. That, in reality, is what the crucifixion, the resurrection are about. And this year, interestingly enough, we get to experience it without any of the trappings of flowers and clothing and celebration. We get to experience the true spiritual meaning of the surrender that Jesus offered of his life and the way it transformed the world and really the lifelong task that you and I and every faithful person has to continually surrender our lives to God so that we can be transformed. It's a daily task. And this will be the first Easter, at least for me, where I get to focus completely on that because the rest of what usually happens around Easter just won't happen. But the most important thing, what God did for us in Jesus Christ has not changed. So let's end this last praxis group together in prayer. And I'm going to be praying about these things and leaving some silence for you to pray with me. Let's pray. God, we are so very grateful. Grateful for the surrender that being born in human likeness meant for you, the surrender of your great love and mercy that sent us Jesus, the great surrender of your grace that brought about the crucifixion and resurrection. This year, oh God, we can't help in our isolation and in our daily lives being so disrupted, we can't help but feel, surrender ourselves. We've surrendered our daily schedules and life as it normally is for the possibility of transforming the curve and the deadliness of this great virus. Help us also in this Holy Week to surrender a part of our will, a part of our lives, a part of our souls to you. We don't know how all this will turn out, but hear us. Hear us as we give these next days and weeks and months to you. pray for those who are afraid this day, for those who are lonely this day, for those who battle disease, for the healthcare workers and first responders, for those who are ill. Hear our prayers.
Finally, oh God, we would pray for ourselves that in the strange circumstances of this holy week, we might find deeper meaning in your surrender and sacrifice, that we might find deeper meaning in the victory that is Easter faith. Come close to us and transform the way we think and feel and act because of the resurrection. Hear our prayers for transformation. God, in this day and in this week, help us to find what is acceptable, what is good, and what is perfect, moment by moment. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for joining me. Take care of yourself. Take care of one another. And God bless until we see each other again.